Hello YouTube! About two months ago I posted some screenshots of a new theme for Retro FE I'm working on called Retrobox. For those of you who don't know, Retro FE is an arcade frontend just like Hyperspin or Big Box. My main objective is to create a stunning and straightforward theme that makes it easy and fun to browse a tremendous collection of games. The theme features two views. The first view is the system view where we can select the system of interest. Almost all systems or collections feature a logo, metadata, description, video and an image to give the user a glimpse of what games are available for the selected collection. While it's not a requirement of the theme, all collections I've added are based on the Hyperspin XML database files. As a collector, I'm aiming at gathering all games and metadata for all playable systems. Using these files makes collecting games a lot easier. Not only will you know when you got all files, but you will also have a cleaner collection with fewer duplicates. Selecting a collection brings us to the game selection view. The first thing you will notice is the huge video or screenshot if a video isn't available. Underneath the video, you will find the title of the game followed by a description. My intention is to give every single game the required metadata to provide the user with a truly stunning browsing experience. The left hand side features the game selection wheel, which I'm quite proud of. Instead of just providing a text based list of all the game titles or logos, I'm providing a cover, title, genre and year for every game defined in the XML file. Since Retro FE only supports a single image to be inside the menu wheel, I've created a script in Python that automatically takes the necessary information for each game and compiles the proper menu image. Now let's quit Retro FE and take a closer look at the theme and file structure. Here I am in my Retro FE directory. When navigating to layouts slash retrobox, you will see the theme files you would expect. However, I've also created a script directory that contains my script for generating the menu items, the correct font and a shadow image that is used in the compilation process. The great thing about the script is that it's cross-platform compatible and you don't need any special software installed except Python and a few libraries. Running the script will look something like this telling it to run through all collections and overwrite any images that may already exist. The console log will show you if an image is found and what metadata it uses when creating the image. After all collections have been processed, a new folder will be created in the theme directory. This directory will contain all the generated images that will be later used by the theme. That's pretty much all there is to say about the theme itself. I love the way the data is structured and it's the main reason for sticking to Retro FE instead of switching to Big Box or another frontend. Some of you may ask, do you have a complete collection of all those 175 systems? And unfortunately the answer is still no. Getting all this metadata, uh, videos, images scrapped together and renamed accordingly is a huge task. Even with some automated scripts I've made that scrapes about the 5 biggest gaming sites out there, I'm still far from done. To keep track of what I'm missing, I'm using Rocket Launcher for my ROMs and my own auditing routine that generates an Excel spreadsheet of missing items in each collection. But in time I'll get there and eventually release a complete set of all the game information. If you would like to help, please contact me through my blog or in the comment section below. Remember to also check out my other videos and I will see you next time.